Keyword research is one of the most important things you can do to not only implement a good Google ad strategy, but to also scale your e-commerce brand to the very next level. And in this video, I'm going to show you a keyword research strategy, which I've never really gone before on my YouTube channel. So stick till the end. But this research strategy is developed based on my own experience now working over 500 e-commerce brands and scaling beyond $100 million in revenue in the last seven years alone with Google Ads. The research strategy is fairly simple, but it does require that, first of all, you have the product already on your website as its own individual landing page, because the beauty about this keyword research strategy is that you're going to be using your own kind of product pages and your own landing pages to drive this forward. I'm going to explain to you what I mean exactly. But what you want to do is essentially you want to first go over to the keyword planner tool within your Google ads account. And from here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using your own URL for a product which you want to find keywords for, or maybe any other product which is similar to what you want to find the keywords for. So let's say, for example, in this situation, we're going to use this floor lamp as an example. What you want to be doing is essentially you want to be copying your own product URL and you want to be going over to the discover new keyword section. And from here, we're going to be starting with a website. So what you want to do is from this section, you want to click use this page only and we're going to paste in that keyword, which we just found the link specifically. So once you do that, if you set up everything properly on your landing pages, on your product pages, and you at least have the main title in play, you should start to see this information pop up, all these different keywords. Now, just a quick look at these keywords, and you should be able to know if these keywords are relevant to what you are selling or not. If they're not relevant, that means your landing page does not have the right keywords. And in that situation, you might have to just start off by going over and actually starting with the keywords right here, just entering that URL in. But here, you can also type in maybe the main keyword, which you already know, the broad one, which is, for example, in this situation, floor lap but it's going to lead to the same kind of results. Sometimes the keyword, adding a keyword in might lead to more and the start with the website one is going to lead to more narrower keywords, which is in some certain situations what you want. But once you do that, now this is where the keyword research strategy begins. You will notice that if you're in a very broad niche, you're going to end up getting thousands and thousands of different types of options for keywords. In this situation, we have over 1200. Obviously, you cannot add all 1200 to your product titles or descriptions. So it's very crucial for you to know what to be looking at. Nowadays, I look at things that are completely different. What I first do when I'm doing keyword research is I basically change this and I click on the year over year change to add those keywords in which have the most change at the top. And I added another filter. I want to only look at those keywords with an average monthly search volume individually of at least a thousand. Now, if your niche or your product doesn't have too many keywords, you can change this to 500 or 100. But in certain situations, it's best to keep it at above a thousand. Otherwise, it's just a bit too small. But once you add in that specific filter, you'll notice it goes down to only 169. It's already a lot more narrower. And what we're trying to do with this year over year change is we want to only incorporate those keywords with the highest potential year over year change. This is a good sign that this has grown by 90% year over year. This means now more and more people are starting to incorporate these keywords into their searches. They're trying to search up chrome floor land. They're searching up floor light with table. All these things are gaining demand. Essentially, that's what this means. And we want to utilize this because if you just click on average monthly searches and you look at all these keywords with a bunch of, of volume already, you'll see that they're not really changing year over year. That means they've been pretty stagnant. And that also means they have been there for so long. Majority of your competitors are probably already competing on them, which is not what you want to do. So that's why it's so important to change this to year over year. But once you do that, then you want to start looking at the top of the page bin high range. And this, what I like to do is I like to make sure this value here is no more than $5. Now, this range, this is not for shopping ads. Just because it says $1.20, it doesn't mean that's what you're going to be bidding on Google Shopping. This is more for Google search ads. But we're incorporating these numbers into shopping by just understanding what is the overall competition. Because if this number here is over $5, more likely than not, shopping ads will also be extremely competitive for that. So that's what I'm kind of looking at to just see what is below five dollars majority of these are below five so that's already a very good sign now next step is basically to go after the right kinds of keywords this is by the way exactly what we do for the brands we handle under my agency or marketing which by the way if you want a brand doing a million dollars a year you need extra help scaling your brands in the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me and let's see if we can potentially work together 
and make that happen. But the next step is to now choose which of these keywords you want incorporated within your titles as well as your descriptions. And there's three major things I'm looking at to understand if this keyword is ideal for my product page or not. Thing number one, this keyword has to be relevant to what I'm selling. So for instance, if I'm not selling a chrome floor lamp, if I do a quick search on Google for that keyword and these things come up and these are very different to what I'm trying to sell, well, in that situation, it's not relevant. So I'm not gonna incorporate that ent keyword into my product titles, descriptions, etc., and all. Second thing I'm looking at is if that keyword has high buying intent. So somebody that types in the keyword floor, chrome floor lamp or chrome lamp floor or floor chrome lamp, all these are buying intent keywords because they're literally typing in the name of the product. On the other hand, if it was something like how to make a chrome floor lamp, then this is not really buying intent because you are asking for instructions. This is not buying intent, it's education based, which is not what we are after. So this lets you know what that kind of keyword is. If it's buying intent, it's a good to go on your landing pages. If it's not, then obviously you wanna stay away from it. But third, you want to kind of have a differentiation between long tail versus short tail keywords. So long tail keywords, essentially these kinds of keywords, which are fairly long, they have a long list of keywords within them. Short tail keywords are basically those that are like, for example, here, floor lamp shop or chrome floor lamp. These are short tail keywords, very minimal amounts of keywords in there. And the best, Google has strategies where you incorporate both of these because you need to have both long tail as well as short tail within your descriptions and ultimately within your product titles for it to really rank and for it to really beat your competitors because most of your competitors are just going to be going after the generic most searched ones which is something you want to do as well but in this situation we're taking a fairly different approach now this is all great but once you find these keywords you now need to compare it to what you are getting on the google ads side of things in terms of results so the best way to do this is to basically go to your google ads account and look at your campaign side of things or you can also look at the insights and reports so the inside section is very crucial for this because it lets you know which keywords you're already getting results for versus which ones you're already not because this keyword strategy you only combine it with this one right here where you're looking in Inside the inside section to further figure out if there's something new you should be doing if there's something new you should be adding or subtracting because now these numbers are the real ones which are already letting you know if you got sales or not from those keywords and it's best to go after these first but in addition to looking at these numbers you want to understand what your ideal audience searches for and how they search for it the keyword research will help, but you want to, again, be looking at the, maybe as the search campaigns you have running, or maybe just do go in on Google and actually typing in your major keywords. So for example, in this situation, we're gonna type in floor lamp. And then from here, we get a bunch of different ideas by just pressing space. We see Chrome, we see base, silver, black, Target, Walmart, etc. All these are ideas which help us know how users actually search for the products. And then from there, we can further make our keyword strategy better and add more of, the, of those in based on what we already found as well within this inside section, but also the keyword research section. But nowadays, this is kind of what's working for us. We're combining all three of these things together to really find the appropriate keyword, not only for the product titles as well as descriptions. But the key thing you want to keep in mind is whenever you're making your titles or your descriptions, make sure the most relevant keywords and the heavily searched keywords are more towards the front and the le less searched keywords are more towards the back. That's kind of the ideal approach you should always be taking at any given time. But again, if you run a brand doing a million dollars a year, you want to scale to multi seven and eight figures with Google Ads, go to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me. And let's see if we can potentially work together and make that happen.